Hey guys, so this is a um, analysis of the Shure KSM32, uh, and this is how the audio sounds. Um, I really can't do a review on this microphone uh, because it's not very straightforward. It's not like oh, like a like USB microphone. I'm like oh, that this is good to go for like, uh, or this is bad. This microphone is kind of hard for me to review because it, it's very. Uh, it, it's obviously, it sounds good. It sounds great. Um, so I'm at a point where like, I can't really make a review on it. I can only go over objective things about it. So, um, I'll just go over some things about it and then I'm going to do some comparisons with other microphones so you can get a sense of how it sounds compared to other microphones and to go from there. All right. So, um, with the KSM32, there are three modes in the back here. So there is a high pass filter and then a much more aggressive high pass filter. So I'm going to turn on the high pass filter. So this is the first high pass filter. So this one, I feel it's, it's not too aggressive in some ways. Uh, it kind of, uh, you know, dulls down a little bit of kind of like the low end. Um, I personally don't like to use switches on the microphone because it's kind of baked in. Like, you know, if you make a switch on it and you know, if you do that, then it's baked in. you can't go back. There's no going back versus with software. I can go back and change and make adjustments as needed, but this is the first setting. Now I'm going to go to the second setting, which is right here. And I don't like this one. So this one is very aggressive. It sounds very like just uh, more USB ish. I just really don't like the sound of it. Uh, but this is how it sounds. Mic check one, two, three. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it back out and bring it back to the uh, normal mode. And yeah, this is how the microphone sounds. Mic check one, two, three. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some comparisons so you can hear how it compares to other microphones. So currently, at least with this recording, uh, I was recording with an audio interface and I'll be sure to use the same interface throughout. Uh, but this is how it sounds. So, uh, yeah. All right. So here's the Shure KSM 32. Uh, and I'm just putting this here so you can kind of like podcastage where you can actually, you know, see how it sounds compared to other microphones and to go from there. All right. So this is the TLM 103. Uh, and this is how the audio sounds. Mic check one, two, three, uh, compared to the Shure KSM 32. Um, this microphone is the de facto character um, voiceover microphone. Like so, whereas the MKH416 is used more for like commercial work, this is used for character work, and you'll see this in all the studios around the world. All right, so now we're back to the Shure KSM32, kind of cleaning your palate, so to say, and this is how the audio sounds. Mic check one, two, three. All right, so here is the Rode NT1. Uh, and this is how it sounds. I actually uh, think this is a great microphone um, for, uh, it's kind of like the Honda Accord of microphones. Long story short, um, I think it's really, really a solid microphone. It's kind of around, if you can find this used on Reverb uh, for about 180 bucks, great microphone. I think it's actually good enough for any, most casting calls, um, whether it's Fiverr, whether it's Twitter. Uh, I would even say it's actually not, it's actually, I would even say at the level of P2P. And so this is actually a really great sounding microphone. I think uh, it's solid all around, all across the board. Great microphone. Um, and uh, I think the people who don't like it, they're picky. They're all audio engineers. They're like, oh, the high end is this, the high end. The they're just like, you know what I mean? It's good enough. <laughs> it's good enough, man. It's good enough. I think in general, it's good enough. You're not going to get turned down on audio for using an NTU one in a treated space. It's a great microphone. You can work with it. It's it's not the best sounding microphone. Again, it's the Honda Accord of microphones. It'll get you there. It's not flashy. There's never a, a point where I'm like, oh my god, that's a Rode NT1, of course. No, it's just like, the point I'm trying to say is, if you're doing any sort of auditions, you're not going to get rejected on audio quality for with using a Rode NT1. It's basically, you, you pass. You will always pass. It's just that other microphones, you know, like the TLM-103 or the 416, it's just like, whoa, what what microphone is that? You know what I mean? So that's that. Okay. All right, now we're back to the Shure KSM-32. This is how it sounds, and we're just going to go again, do another comparison with another microphone, and to go from there. All right, so here's audio from the Cat Equitech 100S. This is the Boot Junkie microphone. Uh, testing one, two, three. Uh, this was made really popular by Boot Junkie, and this is a great sounding microphone. Uh, and yeah, th this is how it sounds. Microphone check, testing, one, two, three. Okay, back to the mix. Sure, KSM32, back in the mix. So you can get a sense of like how it sounds compared to other microphones. Mic check, one, two, three. All right, so here is the Neat King B, uh, one of the best sleeper microphones in 2020. In 2019, you could actually get this for about $99. Unfortunately, this microphone is now discontinued. Uh, but in my opinion, uh, this is just my opinion, this microphone 
at $99, it's holding its own against a lot of microphones that are clearly a lot more expensive. Um, and in my opinion, this is good for any and all paid work. Like you could use this um, for, you know, whether you're using it for Fiverr, Cast and Call Club, or you're using it for P2P. I mean, I think in general, it sounds really great. Um, it was a sleeper microphone. It is discontinued and it likely is discontinued like forever. I know they're coming out with a Mark II, but <laughs> I, I'll see it. I, I'll, I'll believe it when it happens. You know what I mean? But great microphone. Um, this is how it sounds. One of my favorite microphones of all time. Um, and yeah, this is how it sounds. Mic check one, two, three. All right, again, back to the Shure KSM32. We're just going to see how it sounds. Mic check, one, two, three. This is how it sounds. All right, so this is this is the um, Sennheiser MKH416, and this is how the audio sounds. Mic check, one, two, three. This is how it sounds. I don't know if it's fair to compare it with the KSM32. They're totally different microphones, but uh, if you're just curious as to how it sounds by comparison, this is how it sounds. Mic check, one, two, three. This microphone is used in pretty much, it's the de facto uh, commercial uh, voiceover microphone. Almost every voice actor eventually gets this microphone. Like, they're just like, it's just, even if you don't use it, you use it as a tool. It's kind of like it's there. It's just kind of like, it's a great sounding microphone for the right voice. Um, but yeah, this is the MKH416. All right, again, back to the Shure KSM32. Again, just going back to the flow um, and going back. This is how it sounds. All right, final test here. This is the Shure uh, SM7B uh, connected to a cloud lifter, connected to a Babyface Pro. And this is how the audio sounds. Um, mic check, one, two, three. Uh, and this is just comparing how it sounds to the KSM32 as well as other microphones. Uh, in my opinion, um, this microphone, people use it on YouTube and on streaming and whatever, but uh, I actually think the other microphones, which I featured before, uh, actually sound better than this microphone because this microphone the the reason why I say it kind of has its drawbacks it's because you are you are doing proximity effects 24/7 365 days a year when you're on it you're like basically your mouth is all up in the grill right and that's exactly how people talk into it in YouTube but if you want to do character work like you're you don't want actually you actually don't want that because when you're because when you do that, it sounds like you're talking in someone's head, like you're whispering in their ear, and you actually don't want that. You actually want something that sounds more transparent. Um, but anyway, Shure SM7B, final test, mic check, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. All right, again, Shure KSM32, back in the mix, coming right back. And now, again, you can see how it sounds compared to other microphones. Mic check, one, two, three. 